This is the Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. Kristen Van Dyke starts with the weather. A good evening. We have a few thunderstorms we will be watching across northeastern New Mexico with the potential for severe weather with hail and damaging wind possible as we head through about 9 o'clock this evening. And then those storms will diminish and we'll be looking at mainly clear skies across the state. It will be a nice calm night tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures warm up. We'll watch for windy conditions out across western New Mexico, more spot thunderstorms out across the east. And on Sunday, fewer storms around, mainly dry conditions, but staying hot. Less wind for your Sunday. Your seven day forecast for Albuquerque highs in the mid 90s for tomorrow afternoon, and we're staying in the mid 90s with more sunshine through next week. Mexico will extradite a man wanted for the murder of a Clovis child six years ago. The Attorney General's office announced today that the Mexican government has agreed to send 33 year old Noe Torres back to face the charge. Torres was allegedly part of a gang that fired shots into a Clovis apartment in September 2005, killing 10 year old Carlos Perez as he slept. Carlos' older brother was the intended target. The others involved were caught and convicted. Torres was finally captured in Mexico last January after he sent a letter to Governor Susana Martinez, which helped Mexican police track him down. Police have charged a Santa Fe cop's son in connection with a homicide in that city. Juan Soto was shot last month at a park and died later at a hospital. Investigators say 22 year old Ryan Dimas, an officer's son, met the victim at the park to buy stolen merchandise. Then got into a fight and Soto was shot. Demas is charged with conspiracy and receiving stolen property, but he has not been charged with murder. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.